back here. I will be back here. I will be back. our wounds we'll get over this um, we'll be fired up for next year yeah. garoppolo has time stands in going deep going for it all oh, and it's caught for the touchdown on fourth down debo samuel for six garoppolo's got all day he's gonna launch it deep down the field going for it all oh, and getting it Emmanuel Sanders, that touch still on his feet, inside the 10, and he scores! 75-yard bomb from Jimmy Garoppolo to Emmanuel Sanders. Wilson pressure off the edge, releases it, and it is intercepted by Greenlaw! Trey Greenlaw, now on the return! Pass is caught. Kittle breaks one tackle. Another. Wow, what a touchdown for George Kittle. Not throws and it's intercepted. It's picked off by Warner. Fred Warner for the touchdown. Jeff Wilson has come in at running back. Garoppolo's throw is caught by Jeff Wilson. He's going to score a touchdown for the 49ers. And the pass is going to be picked off by Bosa. Nick Bosa. Can't bring him down until he gets to the eight-yard line. Wow. Now Evans in the slot. Winston picked off. And it's Richard Sherman. Last year, and he returns it all the way for a 49ers touchdown, 32 yard. Garoppolo fires, it is caught still on his feet as Kittle with a big play and the stiff arm. George Kittle, flags fly, he's down to the 30. What a run by George Kittle, taking on everybody. I'm a puppy cut forever. Go blooded, motherfuckers. This is the Gold Blooded Podcast, episode two for the week. I gotta say, I tried to give my old man a Gold Blooded Podcast t shirt, and I was going through the box, and I couldn't find any mediums uh, that said Gold Blooded. So I was like, Do you want one that says cunt on it? And he's like, What do you mean? And I was like, Well, it says puppy cunt. And he genuinely laughed at puppy <laughs> cunt. Like he got like a genuine <laughs> chuckle out of it. Which Did I, he take it? No. Oh, um, that would have been the best. It would have been good. but uh, Picture him walking around South Carolina in a puppy country. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, so God. good. Um, one other thing I got to tell you before we dive deep into this uh, episode of debauchery. Um, I got to show you what I drank this week uh, during the game, oh, which is maybe why I wasn't. Is it baby's piss? No, no. Okay. Um, it was this, which um, it's a bottle. <laughs> It was blue raspberry, and it was blue like Windex, and it was weed juice. And All right. When I say, I drank four ounces, and when I say, as I was like took my first sip, I felt myself get higher after I took that. <laughs> like, it's not often, like, my, like, level of highness shifts so drastically, but I was moved to, okay. to, a, to a whole new level. It might also be why I'm seeing... The 49ers in a positive light because I was so high during the game. Um, all right. So we got to do some picks and such. How yeah. bad are we? Let's see where we're at. Okay. So I want everybody to be real clear here. There might be people who have more victories than me, but no one has the consistency <laughs> that I bring. If you were to just bet against me, you would be raking in the money right now. And that's all I'm going to say. I lost last week. I don't want to talk about how. Uh, Bob, he won. He took the Giants. They beat Jacksonville. Come from behind. Uh, Curran, they, he had Cincinnati, who beat the brakes off of Atlanta. 
Uh, so, all right. I have Curran's pick for this week. The BBC, Big Baby Boy Curran. Mm, big Baby Boy. Mm. Oh, Danny. <laughs> um, Curran is taking the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, uh, let me, I have to check it. There. Yeah, I'll get that. Okay. <laughs> minus there. one and a half. Minus, okay, so he's right. Minus one and a half on the road uh, versus the Saints. Uh, no. Yes. Yeah. Well, you're uh, on. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, wait. My no. bad. No, you're right. Oh. You're ah, right. You're, you're right. You were so you know out of me. me off. There's a game going on. Right. Oh, right. Oh, and it's tied now, actually. Same, same spread for next week already. Look at that. Oh, wow. It was one and a half on both yeah. games? Oh, that's wild. Um, it's our, probably so far ahead. But yeah, yeah, that might yeah. be the one to take. Raiders minus one point five at Jacksonville. Take it now. Yeah, take Jacksonville. Um, well, glad I was looking for a game to pick them at. All right, I know. It's weird. There's a game going on. It's hard for us to. I know. I don't know. Uh... Sorry, we're looking at this for the first time now. Because we found uh, a, 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 would you call them a comedy troupe? Yeah. We found a, a, what's the word when you go out and you do impromptu? Skits? Pranks? Uh, uh, in, uh, like, the actors do it in, when they, in improv. Oh, improv. Yeah, so it's like improv comedy of people just going out in public and causing absolute chaos. And they don't seem to have a name. Like, the guy's name is Fred. I don't know how else. I don't know. Maybe Curran can support them somehow, post them, because they are the funniest people I've ever seen. All right. Bob, who you got? I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to take Giants plus three at Seattle. All right. You're taking Giants plus three at Seattle. I got mine. Let her rip. I'm taking the Jaguars at home. Uh, minus two and a half. Who are they versing? The Broncos. That's what my kids say when there's a, a game on. Who are they versing? Who are they versing? Um, I think Jacksonville's going to beat them at home. And no Russell Wilson, I believe. If either way, they're going to win. So it's all good. It's all good in the hood. All right. Let's do it. All right. Fucking twats. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Looking ahead to the Rams on the road? The oh, Lambs. So, hopefully, I don't give a fuck. Fuck the Rams. Yeah, agreed. Hopefully, Niner Nation makes it down, takes the five-hour trip south, uh, and goes and fucks up the fucking Rams at home. I like when people call them the clams. Mm-hmm. Makes me chuckle. Um, <laughs> you, <laughs> I would, no, I'm just kidding. What do you, you got for BBC? You pussy. What's um, his prediction? BBC's prediction is... 38 to 20, 49ers. Okay. Wow. It's going Drop heavy. 38. I like that. All right. Uh, you want to do yours? Yeah. I'm going to uh, tame it down a little from what I wrote. Right. I think it's going to be 45 to 3. <laughs> okay. Win. Rob's getting serious. Everyone's rolling. Def- you said it. Started this six His, game run. Historic, Let's go. Historic 45 run. to 3. Jimmy G's going to be dropping dimes. Christian McCaffrey's going to be moonwalking backwards down the field to the end zone. Debo is going to decapitate uh, Aaron Donald. And uh, first series, first series on defense, Nick Bosa is going to knock Stafford out of the game. Okay. I hope that. I hope he knocks him out. Who's their backup? Who gives a fuck? That's who. That's who. I'm going to say the final score of this game is going to be 35 to 15. Giving them a little more credit than they deserve, but they're going to make five field goals. Okay. What? Uh, what's your key to victory? Key to victory. Uh, is this? They're coming off back to back losses. I don't know. They're the Niners. Of, I mean. Yes. Yes. The key to victory. Oh wait a minute! I don't know if I want their backup to be in. Who? John Wolford. Oh, Bryce I thought, Perkins. I thought it was Dirty <sighs> Sanchez. Um. That's scary. The key to victory is 
the 49ers as a whole for everyone to sit down together and have a nice cold glass of haterade. They need to fuel themselves on pure hate for their division, for their situation. They need to live like the common man. They need to they need to feel the hate that I feel every time a guy blocks traffic in the mall and then I come outside and have a flat tire. They need to fucking feel the hate that I feel after having to sit through five losses at this point in the season. They need to take that on the field and they need to bring it to the Rams like only they know how to do. That's that's the key to victory. Favorite, hate. They're favored. At, at home in LA. <laughs> I hope it's I got I hope it's a home game. I hope the crowd is loud. I hope it's like I hope it's embarrassing. Not. You know what? I hope it's not. Yeah, hope they're loud and then still lose. <sighs> oh yeah. All right, what do you have a key to victory? My key to victory is the fire inside. It must remain strong. It must remain strong. It must remain right how it was after Aaron Donald disrespected Debo. It must remain fiery. I want... The hate and fire. I want red eyes on every person on the 49ers. I want to see laser focus. I want to see violence. I want to see intent to injure. I want to see, and not meaning let's take out someone's knee. I mean just balls to the wall, foot on the throat, smash through the fucking Rams. Well, I love that. That's what I want. I want every person on offense that touches the ball to run like Debo runs against the Rams. Except Jimmy G. I don't care if he, as long as he don't get hurt, he can too. I don't want him because him mowing down a cornerback would be the greatest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> I would, Especially if it's Jalen Ramsey. I would like to see that. Um, yeah, I feel like I said. I feel like we they just need to play with hate. And well, I guess goes to speaks to what you say. I think. Um, I think we should do this because I think we should get to the emails. I feel like there's probably going to be some people that need us. Right, we're going to do that, and then we're going to go the fuck home because we've had bad times too. All right, listen, fuckers. Uh, holidays are coming up. You need to support the people who support us. LuckyRoseTattoo.BigCartel.com Lucky Rose Tattoo in, uh, where are we? Middlebury, Connecticut. You want a tattoo? Whether it be a fucking cowboy hat, fucking writing, you want a fucking ghost face, I don't give a fuck what you want. You fucking call this place over here and they're gonna fucking tattoo your body real nice. Review us. However the fuck you listen to us, go there and leave us a review. Preferably five stars, but if not, make it funny. Patreon, you make more money than I do. Gold-blooded, uh, www.patreon.com backslash gold-blooded podcast. You can filter us money over there. Email us. Tell us all about your life. Gold-blooded podcast at gmail.com. Instagram, gold-blooded podcast, one word. All right. Bob, you have anything to say? I don't. Let me dial this up here. So, Okay. Seems like the first email is from Matt Matterson. The man himself. I fucking love this guy. Title of the email is A Few Thoughts. Two and a half minutes. Matt Matterson's like the, the nutrition, like the <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now the nutritional guy is talking. Just chiming in on a few opinions. Um, thank you, inner Aaron Aronson for um, the comment. I guess I am uh, helping get blood into this podcast. <laughs> but it's really uh, Rob and Joe's uh, show, and I'm helping it. But definitely the rest of the uh, listeners chiming in are definitely the energy drinks um they're providing the vitamin b's um and the caffeine um anyway and the cocaine this is a california thing for homeowners to use uh, artificial turf instead of real grass um i could be wrong it could be just uh drier states doing this um homeowners in arizona new mexico california 
I under, I could probably understand why homeowners in Connecticut don't do that. Um, uh, because it's that state gets more rain um, than California or, or New Mexico or Arizona. Uh, anyway, um, if anybody, any 49ers fans in New Mexico or Arizona want to chime in on this, please, like, please, uh, you can, you have the gold-blooded podcast email. Well, in my previous email, uh, I met Nick Bosa not playing, uh, gave the Falcons a advantage and they took it, uh, cost the Niners the game. Uh, um, also, just speaking of the injury, hopefully, reduce you Bosa out there playing against the Chiefs. Um, Armstead, I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe after the bye week, um, which is November 6th, um, I'm going to say maybe we see Trent Williams too. If not, the Chiefs game, definitely the Rams game, um, the final Rams game of the season. Uh, anyway, uh, that being said, uh, I'm out, really. All right, Matterson. He threw me for a loop, Bob, when he started with the clip of you there. <laughs> Is he a nutritionist? Is that what's going on? I have no idea. I think we must have said last week that he was the nutritional value in the Gold-Blooded Podcast or something along oh. those lines. All right, Matterson has more thoughts. I also see your point, Rob, when it comes to McCaffrey. He and the team are prone to injuries. The 49ers got McCaffrey, and I am happy with that. I can't see him playing against Kansas City, but I have a feeling we will see him play against the Rams in the 49ers' second home field. If I see a 49ers fan holding a sign that says, Welcome home, 49ers, I would get a laugh. If I understand this correctly, if a player goes to IR, just IR, then it will they have to be missing out on multiple games than the team wants. The team is going to give Armstead the next two games off and they will see how he is after the bye week. In other words, the Niners are hoping to see Eric Armstead play sooner rather than later by not putting him on IR. I also know that there is a season-ending IR and that is just mostly as far as I know. I hope that no one else gets injured. Yeah, season-ending IR. I think it's the same. I don't know if they call it something different. In the beginning, it was short-term versus season-ending, but uh, Mosley and Trey Lance, and there was a couple before the season started, I think. Okay. But I don't know. Chris Bravo, Bob, needs our help. Oh, yes. Chris Bravo needs our help, Bob. He says, guys, I'm so fucking depressed right now that I don't know what what to do anymore. I want to get excited for this team, but honestly, every week it seems to get worse. At this point, I don't know what there is to look forward to anymore. If they can't at least be competitive against a KC team, then what hopes do we have for a Super Bowl win? What happened to our defense? How do they keep committing so many penalties and keep causing their own demise? Please help. I'm losing faith. Like you're losing faith. I don't want to spend my Sunday feeling hopeless anymore. Looking forward to your podcast and your reply. Bob, what do you have to say to Chris Bravo? I think we talked about some of the positives. I agree. Uh, I think going to our home away from home will help get us right. Uh, I think the future's bright. I'm not worried, Chris Bravo. Hang in there. We now have a very long email that I'm about to embark on, so hopefully this makes you feel better, Chris Bravo. This one stings. I believe this is Aaron. Is this our new... Is this Aaron Aronson? Gold-blooded crew... What it do? I'm back with another email as promised. So fuck, we knew what we were getting into with this game, and if we had executed better, we, they, we could have won. We started off great with our newly acquired CMC, running right down the field but settling for a field goal instead of a touchdown. Then Hufanga does what he does and picks Mahomes, and we quickly score with Jimmy G touchdown pass to Ray Ray McLeod. Life is good, right? But this is the Kansas City Chiefs, and as you know, as a Niners fan, we can get ahead early and start to let up. We are a great first-half team. For the score to be 13-14 to 14 at halftime against, the Chief, against these Chiefs was amazing. So what happened in the second half? We started making mistakes and shooting ourselves in the foot. We would get, 
we would get it to a third and long many times only to see it be converted for a first down or converted for a first down and a touchdown. We gave up way too many big plays. I know we are banged up on defense, but we need to get better. When we were down by five points uh, and KC was driving, we played some great defense where we got it to third and 20. I was like, if we hold them to a field goal, then we will only be down by eight points, TD and a two-point conversion, and we are right back in it. What happened was KC threw some bubble screen pass to a running back to convert the first down and then proceeded to run it for another touchdown. Instead of holding them to a field goal on third and 20 and only being down by one score, eight points, we let them score a touchdown, and now we're down by 12 points. We need to get, we need to clean some of this stuff up, and we could be winning these games. If you take away the turnovers and bonehead plays on defense, we could be great. I know we are banged up on defense, but I don't want to make any excuses. Execute, execute, execute. I was talking to a 49er buddy after the game, and I was mentioning how I can't believe how we are losing these games. We have... St- We have a stacked roster on offense and defense. What's holding us back is a combination of injuries, poor execution, and just a lack of discipline. I joke that we need Mike Singletary to come to the locker room this week and make a Vernon Davis-type speech to get us motivated. Wow, this is long. Mm. Aaron, you gotta gotta wrap this up, guy. Okay, (laughs) shit. So, I'm rambling on, but we must move forward. This week, we have the Rams, who just came off a bye. It's in the Los Angeles, but we know there will be a sea of red in the stadium. Jimmy G owns the Rams in regular season with a perfect 6-0 record. With one week practice for CMC and Mike Singletary making a cameo speech, I get this Niners uh, to get this Niners team pumped up. I expect the Niners to even their record at 4-4 four and four going into their bye week. Are they 3-4 and four and we've, we've been wrong all week? Or are they 3 or What are we doing? Niners versus Chiefs. Offensive beast of the week. George yeah, Kittle. Yeah, 3-4. 98 yards, one touchdown, and congrats on the first TD of the year on National Tight End Day. Defensive beast of the week. Hufanga. Two tackles, two assisted tackles, one interception. Niners versus Rams. Prediction. Niners 43, Rams 17. Faithful. Don't give up hope. We are in this. Look at the NFC. How many 3-4 and four teams are there? And if we beat the Rams, we might just be back in first place again. Cut down the mistakes and turnovers, and we can do this thing. Side note, what the fuck happened to the GOAT? How did Tampa Bay lose to the lowly Panthers who were 1-5 and five and fired their coach after losing the 49ers and gave their best player to the Niners? The NFC is up for grabs, and a W this week will be huge. Okay, one last thing. Madison, can you please find, can you please find me the episode where you were named Matt Madison? I went back and checked season one and two, but couldn't find it. I'm out, really. Ooh, that's a good one. I think he's found it for us once in the past. Yeah. Um, we are three and four. I think three and five is what we were last year before things got turned around. I think okay. that, that might have been some of the confusion. Well, Barrett Mueller's just had one thing to say. I know. I kept looking, thinking I missed something. Like, it's not yeah. loading. It's just Mike McDaniels. That's all he has to say. That's the... Um, that's the coach of the Dolphins that cried in his press conference about letting Tua back in and said he thought he had a back injury. Did he cry? Oh, yeah. He was like sniffling and he was yeah. tearing up at the fact that somebody would could possibly think that he would put a player at risk and let him play with a head injury. Did you not see the guy Yeah, that had a fucking head injury? Yeah. like that? This is football. Yeah. I, I mean, I get you got to say what you got to say, but come on. I mean, I get it. It sucks to lose him, but... I'll I'll take Shanahan over McDaniels. No question. I do. I am very entertained. By I wish McDaniels. I had both. Yeah. Yes. I am very entertained by McDaniels. Yeah. Of course. Oh yeah. Yeah. I miss him, but I wouldn't. Well, say no. He's I yeah. I got you. No question. I like that he's a head coach though, because yeah. I get to see his press conferences. Well, I guess he gave him with the, but it's different. All right. Back to Madison. He said, "Well, that sucks." I didn't expect to see McCaffrey play against the Chiefs, but he did. If I had to put blame on this loss to anyone, it's their defense for not putting enough pressure on Mahomes. L.A. Rams again. If we can have our defense line put pressure on Stafford while Jimmy can use every different weapon, Kittle, Ayuk, Samuel, Jennings, McLeod, Wilson, McCaffrey, we will win. Niners 31, Rams 12. I am out, really. Uh, that's another that's a faker I guess oh well Betty Bryan blow me Gabrielle Sanchez says catch up the ass 
or ketchup up the ass. Damn. <laughs> that ketchup eating piece of shit shoved a bottle right up to Marco Ryan's asshole and squeezed until he puked up 42 points. The game ate the worst IHOP, fucking IHOP steak I've ever eaten. This offense could have been better, but I can't really expect them to do better than 44. On to the Lambs. Did I miss something about ketchup? What the uh, fuck is that? I think Mahomes signed a big ketchup uh, okay. deal, I believe. Okay, okay. Or is it Andy Reid? I don't know. Somebody likes ketchup <laughs> over there. I don't know who. Uh, Cole M. says, well, fuck. Says, don't have much to say about this game except for what happened to our top-tier defense. It's like Mahomes is just not defendable, which I know isn't true because the Bills got it done. Can't really blame it on the offense. This game was within grasp until the fourth quarter. All I want is to smoke the division. 49ers 32, Lambs 24. Let's win the fuck out. Peace out, faithful. Cole. All right. The last email is from the caffeine of the podcast. (laughs) The cocaine of the podcast. The jet fuel. You know him as Just Joe. We know him as Just Joe. Here he is. He's Just Joe. Fuck, I should have been ready with that. I fucked that all up. (laughs) Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's all of them. Oh, yeah. McCaffrey. Yeah. Woo, we lost. And the team he came from, woo, they won. Huh. Oh, man. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to have my son say no more bad words. Mm-mm. Not until we start winning again. Because this is, this is, bleh. I'm over here having my son be yelling bad words. I don't know if somebody at CPS works in my neighborhood. You know, the Niners don't care. I don't care. Uh, the Gold Jimmy Blooded did, Podcast. Jimmy does. did what, you know, we're, I don't know, is anyone, is anybody surprised? I'm not. McGlinchey, Ben's saying he's trash. You know? Horrible. I think they rushed back players thinking that they were going to get them. Like, be able to beat the Chiefs. And they didn't. They rushed them back and it showed because our defense looked I don't want to hear about how we're, our defense is <laughs> legit. I mean, elite. Legit. No, 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 no. We just got our asses whipped. On to the Rams, huh? Uh, we'll win, they'll lose. Cheer up, Joe. It's going to get better. I hear, the, I hear the stress and tension in your voice while you operate that large vehicle. Just uh, be easy with it, my friend. It's going to get better. Bob, what are you, you look confused by something. No. No. I'm All listening. right. Well, we're... we're, we're it's going to get better because it has to. Yeah, there's only one way we can That's go from it. here. That's and it. And we're going to go that direction. And if not, we'll be here together. But I don't believe that. We're headed... This is the season of fate. We've said it from the start. There's always going to be some hiccups. Uh, with that said, we're taking off early tonight because uh, we've had a rough time. So uh, smoke your peace pipe. Fuck the Rams. We'll, we're going to meet back here next week on Tuesday, and we'll go from there. <laughs>